Hey guys, so just a real quick update. I've been playing around with copper plating. I've gotten a bit frustrated with the uh, servo motor, so I'll get back to that on the weekend. But what I really wanted to know was if you copper plate something, let's try to get this to focus. If you copper plate something, can you solder onto it? And that's interesting to me because then I can use large objects, such as a nail, as like a probe or, or something, and then I can solder wires onto the back of it. Because it, I don't have a lot of big chunks of copper that, to, to use as probes for, for things that I build. Um, but if I could copper plate a nail and then solder a wire onto the back, uh, then that would be really cool. Uh, so it turns out that you can. So on the back of the spoon, you can see that I've got a bit of solder to adhere to this stainless steel spoon through the copper plating. And, and you can see here that I've used a pair of pliers to scrape it off. So it does come off, but the bond is pretty damn strong. I had to scrape it good and proper to get that to start coming off. So I think that'll work for all intents and purposes. If you ever need to solder onto a metal object, copper plate it first. I guess corrosion would get it in the end and the bond would eventually be crap, but yeah, with the dissimilar metals, one's gonna corrode faster than the other. Yeah, yada, yada, yada. But success, awesome blue liquid, electricity, what more could you ask for? Here's a quick rundown of how I did it. I got some copper sulfate from Bunnings. You put the powder in some distilled water, which you can also get from your local hardware store. And then a little bit of acid. You can just use plain old white vinegar, distilled vinegar. And you need a copper electrode. I just got this little bit of copper pipe that I had laying around. Uh, or you could just use a bunch of stripped wire. And then what I did was I, I just clipped the, the negative um, the negative side of my power supply onto the spoon and the positive side onto the copper and put the voltage on as low as possible and just left it for a while. I just used room temperature liquid and that seemed to make a really good plating. Alright, thanks very much for watching and I'll see you next time.